Assalamu alaikum my dear students hello how are you all hope you are fine by the grace of almighty allah welcome to nif home school and this is ayful islam assistant teacher of english national ideal english version school morning shift today i'm going to take an english class first paper class for class 9 students our today's topic unit 1 lesson 1 discussions so my dear students let's see our today's topic and class class 9 Subject English fast paper, term half yearly, lecture 1, SW will be 1. Topic unit 1, lesson 1, discussion, teacher Aiful Islam. This is my mobile number and today's date. So, my dear students, let's start our today's class. So, as you can see, class 9, subject English fast paper, unit 1, lesson 1, Bongo Bundu's family in 1971. Half yearly exam, lecture 1. SW will be 1, unit 1, lesson 1, exercise D. So, let's start the lesson. Read the text and answer questions 1 and 2. It was the night of 25th March 1971. There was full of quietness at Bangabandhu's home at Dhanbandi road, no, road number 32 throughout the day. So, quietness means silence. Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujib Rahman and his family members could apprehend, apprehend means could realize, could understand that something tragic was going to happen. Tragic, pathetic. Gunshots were heard around the city. Bangabandhu's eldest son Sheikh Kamal was out of home for forming barricades against the Pakistani army who had been killing people indiscriminately that night. So barricades means impediment. Mangamundu decided to send the girls of the family to a safer place for the night and he gave their responsibility to his son-in-law, Mr. Wazid Mia. So who was Wazid Mia? Husband of Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina. Mangamundu's daughter Sheikh Hasina, who was expecting a baby soon along with her sister Sheikh Rehana and her cousin Forida were sent to a house at row number 15. Dhanmundi for that night. Bangamundu's wife Begum Fazilatul Nesa Muzib stayed with him. Just before midnight, Bangamundu sent the Declaration of Independence to Mr. Johur Ahmed Chaudhuri at Chittagong via wireless. Via means through. At the darkest part of that night, the Pakistani army surrounded his home and started firing at random. The situation hesitated Bangamundu much. So worried, anxious, agitated means. And he asked to stop, but soon he was instructed to get ready to go with them. Begum Muzi packed his necessary belongings. After Bangabandhu left, she was at a loss. At a loss, she was in a fix. What to do and where to go with her children. However, being a supportive wife of the great leader all through her life, she soon pulled off her mental strength. But her anxiety continued till the end of the war. The next day, Begum Muzib had to leave house number 32 with her children and other members of her home. During the next couple of months, they moved from one shelter to another in search of a safer place. During the stay in those places, some people came forward to helping them, while some refused to give them shelter for fear of their own safety. When their provision ran short, when their food ran short, Sheikh Kamal, who had already joined the liberation war, came to them in disguise and delivered some money. Some very close people also supported the family with money and food stuff. We're moving to next place. So far as the family members were ignoring about the Bangabandhu's condition, suddenly they came to know that he was alive and had been taken to Pakistan. Begum Muzib started to keep contact with our Malik leaders, but soon the family was taken to Dhanmundi house number 18 by the Pakistani army and kept under house arrest. However, people would come to their home with valuable information in disguise of vendors. Also, some would throw pieces of waste paper with important information written on them. In the month of May, the same year, Pakistani army set fire to Bangabandhu's Tungibara home in front of his parents. A young man from the village protested the evil deed and was shot dead. Both parents of Bangabandhu fell ill 
in October and were admitted to the PG hospital. Begum Mujib and her family were allowed to visit them two or three times a week for one hour. However, that created the opportunity for them to establish a better communication with the freedom fighters. Begum Mujib was extremely worried about her children, especially her daughter Sheikh Hasina, because of her health condition. However, she was not allowed by the Pakistani rulers to be with her daughter Sheikh Hasina when she was admitted to hospital. Mr. Wazid and Mia and Bangabandhu's second son Sheikh Jamal accompanied Sheikh Hasina to the hospital. Bangabandhu's youngest sister, pretending to be a hospital attendant, pretending means acting, entered the hospital and looked after her niece. Sheikh Hasina was blessed with a baby boy on 27 July who was later named Shoji Wazid Joy. As the Pakistani army often used to threaten Sheikh, Has Sheikh Jamal that they would hang him upside down. He, finding an opportunity, fled from the hospital and joined the freedom fighters. Finally, the victory day arrived. There was joy everywhere. But Bangabandhu's family was yet to be freed from captivity, captivity confinement. The Pakistani occupational forces were still condoning Bangabandhu's house. Condoning means surrounding and firing at people, rushing over three chat chanting joy joy bangla the invigorating slogan of the bangalis invigorating inspiring motivating but they fled the next morning when the indian army came to rescue the family sheikh jamal returned to home in the afternoon while sheikh kamal returned home the next day nevertheless the biggest anxiety of the family persisted persisted bangabandhu was yet to be released from pakistani prison and they didn't know when that great moment would arrive and how Source Sheikh Rehanar Shate Akanto Alpo Alabcharita Antorongo Aloe Bongo Bondhur Puri Bar by Shonchita. Okay, so let's do question number one. Choose the best answer from the alternatives. What does the word quietness mean? Noise, loudness, silence, chaos. So quietness means silence. What does the word apprehend mean? So apprehend means I I say it, realize, understand. So apprehend means would be realize. Fear, criticize, no. Apprehend means realize. We're moving to next space. After Bangabandhu left, she was at a loss what to do and where to go with her children. What does the underlined phrase mean? Certain what to do, heavy what to do, not knowing what to do, hour of doing things. Answer will be not knowing what to do. Number D, the Pakistani army had been killing people indiscriminately that night. What does the underlined word mean? Passionately, haphazardly, carefully, consciously. Answer will be haphazardly. Number E, the situation agitated Bangabandhu much and he asked them to stop. The underlined word means irritated, relaxed, claimed, quietened. So agitated means irritated. Begum Mujib soon pulled up her mental strength. What does the underlined expression mean? Enhanced her weakness, decreased the courage, raised her courage and firmness, raised her vulnerability. So pulled her mental strength means raised her courage and firmness. But her anxiety continued till the end of the word. The underlined word means serenity, saturnity, happiness, worry. So anxiety means, we you know, worry, worried. Ace Fazitun Nasa Muzi was a supportive wife of Bangabandhu. The underlined word means opposing, encouraging, disproving, careless. So supportive means encouraging. What does the word pretend mean? React, act, enact, activate. So pretend means acting. The word captivity means liberation, emancipation, confinement, release. So captivity means confinement. So dear students, SW will be SW1, submit on Saturday, unit 1, lesson 1, exercise D. This, this is uh, SW number 1, read the uh, exercise D, read the text again and answer the following questions. These are the 5 questions, okay, do the SW and submit on Saturday, okay, my dear students. So that's all for today, my dear students. So do you assign SW at home and submit on Saturday. So that's all for today. Stay safe, stay well. See you again. Till then, Allah Hafiz. Assalamu alaikum.